Uh, thank you very much uh, for this occasion, um, Mr. the Executive Director of PPD, uh, my fellow youth readers, uh, observe the protocols from UN agencies, international NGOs, uh, local NGOs, civil societies, uh, media and academia. A distinguished participant to this workshop, my warm greetings from Rwanda. It is my utmost pleasure uh, and honor to be delivering this statement on uh, this very important occasion, specifically for youth, but also for the world, world at large. I would like to commend such a great initiative for mainstreaming youth engagement and the leadership through South-South Cooperation to push forward the ICPD agenda on all fronts during uh, the COVID-19 crisis uh, for, from PPD and uh, UNFPA. In fact, as you all know, the world population is younger with a median age of 30. This is especially much reflected in the developing countries where in Africa, the, med the median age is 19. This provides a clear uh, image on how the, the population which is uh, in the youth category and below are the most of the global population. The sustainable development can never be achieved if the major population is left behind in one way or another. The ICPD agenda efforts will only be achieved if uh, we put young, uh, young people at the center to drive the commitment which have been made at the Nairobi summit of, uh, on ICPD 25. We commend the different countries, agencies, in institutions and the organization which took into consideration the meaningful and inclusive participation of youth in the process of designing and developing their uh, different commitment made at Nairobi summit. However, that was the beginning to achieve those commitment. And to those who haven't took into consideration the the meaningful participation of youth, it's not too late. We all need to engage meaningfully the youth uh, from the development, the implementation, the monitoring, and the review of the success to see how we can provide our contribution, our meaningful contribution in the success of what we have designed, of what we have set. During this COVID-19 pandemic period, and as we work hard to recover from it, it is very evident that most of the opportunities for a, success, a successful holistic recovery are from the creative initiatives and innovation of youth. During the management of the pandemic, young people started to meaningfully engage as service providers, educators, and change uh, agents among their peers, communities, and uh, the, their countries. I personally was part of this in the National Task Force for jo uh, Joint Task Force for Prevention of COVID-19, uh, where I served my country for one year and a half. Those ta the tasks that I was combining with my responsibility as a country director of Africa and Rwanda to advance sexual reproductive health and the rights, gender promotion among adolescents and youth plus their empowerment. As the pandemic did not stop different issues that young, the young generation is facing, but rather it worsened them. The gender-based violence has erased the issues related to, the, to our sexual reproductive health, like teenage pregnancies, child marriage, especially in developing countries, as well has erased. This was a, a responsibility and the task for the young generation to combat with, uh, with those issues, uh, against those issues, because we know better how we suffer from these issues and we believe 
we know how better we can fight against them and we have the solutions in our potentials. Even, however, the COVID-19 uh, COVID crisis has shown the needs to everyone, especially policy and decision makers, to leverage the potentials of adolescent and youth to accelerate the achievement of global and regional agendas. This was following the low level of engaging the young generation in finding solutions to most of the issues that affect them. It has been a lesson to most of the decision makers to increase the level of engaging youth in, an, in the aspect which is meaningful and inclusive. Today's workshop, as it has the majority of the young leader, it brought, it brought us to, together to see how we can reflect on how we need to better be engaged toward achieving the regional and global agendas, especially the ICPD agenda. In Rwanda, I commend the leadership under His Excellency uh, Paul Kagame, who has shown the vision on how we need to engage young people successfully toward accelerating the different agenda toward the development that we want. If we want to develop quickly, if we want an accelerated development, it can't be possible if we don't put youth at the center. I am sure that youth have the potential in themselves, they have the solution in themselves. We kept seeing it, especially in this COVID-19 crisis. Young people have dealt with a lot of, a, a lot of issues uh, from different aspects, from different sectors. And if we wanna achieve the LCPD agenda very quickly and successfully, we need to press young people at the center. Let us make effort, let us make commitment following the commitment that we have made at the Nairobi Summit to harness the potential of young people in our respective countries to see how we can accelerate the achievement of the commitment that we have made. It is possible until if we commit and if, if we put the energy uh, to believe in young people and put them forward, to drive the commitment that we have made. I thank everybody. I thank PPD and UNFPA who are always uh, looking forward to engaging young people and who are always counting on opportunities that can meaningfully engage young people to achieve what we have committed at the Nairobi Summit on ICPD 25. I thank you very much. And I thank my colleagues, the young people who are present today I hope the deliberation the of today's workshop will be a success. Thank you very much.